Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, this is Dave Tyner coming to you live from the garage uh, in the hammock more specifically. Um, and today I'm going to show you how to get your, I don't know, get some characters into InfoWorks. Uh, and these are 3D Studio Max Populate characters. So um, I'm not going to do a scene this big, but I'll show you uh, small examples. Uh, it takes forever to import, export, and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, so let's get started here. I'm going to minimize that. Uh, so I'm using 3D Studio Max 2016. I've not tested this on any other version, um, but I, I, just, I imagine it should work. I mean, I'm not doing anything super advanced here. Uh, so I'm going to select the perspective viewport, hit Alt-W to maximize it. And if your if you that if your screen doesn't already look like this, you should have a populate tab in here. If you click it, click this down arrow, then the ribbon will uh, expand, and uh, we can get started. Super easy. Um, ah, first thing, yeah, it's good. We should be always work from this file. This populate to infoworks.max. Um, and just drag it in, say open file. And yeah, we're good. So I'm going to go to perspective view here. And then you just start, you know, drawing your, um, uh, I don't know, she's, she might be a little lonely. So let's make it a little bit bigger. Maybe she's got a group, a couple pals. And then there's a path of people who strangely walk around these people. And then there's other people here that uh, are hanging out too. And they're all surrounded by the walking people. Uh, you can use any flow, idle area, whatever you want. Uh, everything should work just dandy. So I'll do 300 frames here because that's standard, I guess. And I'll create it, but I don't think I'm going to export all of them because there's just, for the purposes of this tutorial, we don't need that many people. All right, so there they are. Um, and after it's created, you're just going to say bake selected, which is going to um, no longer make them editable by populate. So they're, they're not owned by Populate now. And let's say I just want, uh, let's animate them. Okay, so they're all definitely animating. Stop. All right, now I'm going to, uh, oh yeah, it doesn't matter. If I don't want some of these, I'm just gonna have to delete them. So, like those guys there, and maybe these guys here or something, and then uh, that's fine. So then what you want to do is the script that will be with this file, that one, just drop it in there, and I uh, worked long and hard on this UI. Look at that. Bam. Functionality. Uh, so if you just say go, It'll do its thing. It'll take a couple seconds here. And as you can see, it turns the boys blue and the girls pink. <laughs> uh, and it doesn't have to be that way. Uh, if you prefer, you can just select them all. And um, yeah. So you just give them a, uh, a <laughs> standard material here. And that, and then we'll just change the color, make it less white or less gray. I don't know, what do you think, gray? I don't like that, like it's just an off. Yeah, all right. So now they're all just there, kind of off blue. But, but again, they're all animated just like they were. Only now they're they're infoworksable. 
Uh, okay, so this part, very important. You need to um, just hit Control A, select everything. Everything must be selected when you do this. Export selected and uh, new people. We'll just go ahead and call this new people too. All right, uh, for the FBX export dialog, it's a DAE file that uses the um, FBX export dialog, probably the engine two. Um, uh, I changed the custom preset to media and entertainment, and then uh, not that. I set my axis conversion to Z up, which is what you will have to do too. And right from there, it's all good. Go. And then this part takes a while, so I'm going to hang back. Enjoy the ambiance of my cave. My hammock. I can work in a hammock. A lot of people can't. They fall asleep. You know, whatever. Start listening to Jimmy Buffett, right? But not me. I'm working. There's not a moment I'm hanging out in this hammock that I'm not working. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> All right, good. That was fast. All right, so that's done. Now we'll just come into InfoWorks. Say 3D model. New people too. And we want that to be like city furniture or something. We're going to interactive placing. It's going to have to process the animation. All right, but you can see there they are. And the insertion point is zero. So I'll, I'll try to I'll explain that here in a second. So basically, we got ourselves like a regular soccer match happening here. And there they are. So, I mean, as you can see, it starts weighing down on the frame rate. Um, well, I'm also recording on the same screen, but uh, anyway, yeah, that's how you do it. So. Uh, Good luck, have fun. Oh, yeah, let me explain. So when you export here, um, so you see there's a there's a point, a dummy object here at zero, and that's your insertion point. So wherever that is, or wherever your people are in reference to that is where they're gonna pop in. So here is the insertion point and you know the people are up from it. And uh, just like I did here, I think their insertion point is actually out here somewhere. So um, just things to be aware of. Uh, but yeah, I mean, hey, you know, moving people in InfraWorks, cool. Uh, anyway, so that's all I got. Thanks for watching, and uh, later.